Welcome back to Toaster. What a lovely day it is here. A great day for racing and also a great day for walking, I'm pleased to say, because my dear friend Richard Farquhar, who joins me now with his daughter Minty, has uh, started, well, completed the first leg of his journey from Newmarket on Friday to Toaster for walking the courses in aid of pancreatic cancer and racing welfare. And the first question I'm going to ask you, Richard, is how are you feeling? Better than I thought I would, to be honest with you, Zoe. I mean, it's about 72 miles, and touch wood, the feet feel okay, the legs feel okay. I'm, unbelievably, I got rather sunburnt yesterday, um, which I really wasn't expecting in March at all, but I guess if you spend seven hours out in the sun walking, then that's going to happen at any time of year. But, no, I feel much better than I rather feared I might. So, touch wood, it's been a reassuring start, and it's great to be here. Richard, tell us what you're doing. Essentially, I'm walking around the UK from race course to race course, arriving at each race course on the day of a race meeting. So it's a total of 58 walks. It's a total distance of about 2,750 miles. And I'm doing it to raise money for racing welfare uh, and for Pancreatic Cancer UK. And you've got a lot of support because you, you're involved in racing yourself. You've had horses in the past with Henry County, and you still do, in fact. Mm -hmm and the momentum is steadily growing. It is. I've been, we've been incredibly lucky that, that, I mean, racing has been amazingly supportive um, from, you know, trainers like Oliver Sherwood and Charlie Hills, jockeys Jason Maguire and Paddy Brennan and uh, James Doyle, um, the Bloodstock World, the likes of Anthony Bromley, Henry Beebe, Business, Roger Weatherby. You know, we've got a, a, a huge list of... of um, supporters who have effectively lent their support to what we're doing and, and given us the backing and the credibility to be able to then go out and, and really make the most of it. And of course at the races and of course great of support course. from your daughter Minty who um, well Minty you get the easy part really you get to drive this lush car around the country <laughs> following your dad. Blinding everybody in sight. Um, yeah I've been organising the project since about October so it's, it's lovely to see it finally on the road and taking shape. Um, yeah, but it's not. It's it's no mean feat. I mean, he's definitely drawn the short straw in the whole, in the whole project. Actually, doing the walk, but it is um, it is quite an organisational uh, marathon as well. So um, yeah, no, but it's a lot of fun. Very much looking forward to it. As well as driving the flashy Subaru <laughs> that's almost blinding us in the sunlight here, you've been baking a cake for uh, Mr. Sherwood. I have. Yes, that will uh, be making an appearance later. Uh, it's Oliver's 60th birthday today. Um, as we've mentioned several times on film, I'm not sure he's too impressed. Um, but he's going to be here today, and uh, yes, we've got a cake to present to him later. Some good racing, and a couple of uh, Richard's supporters have, uh, well, they've fielded a couple of runners here this afternoon. So, so what's the latest from the Oliver Sherwood camp? Have you got any news? Do you know, the truth is I tried to ring Tanya last night and didn't get through to her, um, but... The one horse I would love to win today more than any other is actually in our race, the walk in the course is Novice Hurdle, the first, Romulus du Donjon. Um, I'd love it to win, A, because it's trained by a walk in, walk in the course's supporter, Oliver, B, because it's owned by a walk in the course's supporter, Simon Muneer, and C, because it was bought by an, a walk in the course's supporter, Anthony Bromley of Highflyer. So it would be wonderful if, if that did happen to win, but I, I suspect that someone might have to have a quiet word with Nicky to get that to have a quiet one, because that does look like uh, the most likely win. Um, uh, but no, there are, there are a few, uh, few other horses. Uh, Oliver's got uh, uh, other runners. Um, and yeah, I think we'll have, a, we'll have a fun day. Well, indeed. Well, yes, Nicky looks to have solid chances in the first and the last, in which Oliver's got runners. And also, Kim Bailey has a chance in the Mayor's Hurdle. That's one of the finals coming up this afternoon. Kim is going to be walking the track a little bit later on before racing alongside Oliver. And Richard, of course, dressed in this lovely tracksuit. And Matt Chapman, I wonder what he's going to be wearing.